Welcome back to Playcrastination Population 382, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Black 2 Alternate Reality Nuzlocke. In the last episode, guys, we sustained some casualties as we took on the third gym leader, Berg, and his Steel-type Heracross, which is apparently just the strongest Pokemon in this entire game, because it destroyed half of our squad, including our starter, Jon Snow the Magby, uh, Overeasy the Togetic, and Scar the Vulpix, all of which have been with us since, like, episode 2, so, um, it was not a great time for me, uh, but we did a grinding montage, we have a squad of 5 right now, I grinded, well, not everybody, O'Keefe did not get much grinding because time, and, uh, also, there's, like, a time value scale, and, uh, the amount of value we would have got from getting O'Keefe up to 22 was just not worth the, the time it would have taken, so. But O'Keefe is there, nonetheless, and, uh, so is the rest of the squad, so. Let me give a tick, a tick, a, a tick queen recap. Let me give you guys a quick team recap just to get you guys up to speed. Uh, so first of all, we have our Charmeleon named Kylo Poison Dark type. With Assurance, Learned Poison Jab during the grinding montage, Toxic and Dark Void, so several status uh, status things we can we can do with him, which is nice. Also has the Violite, which uh, for at least the next 14 levels will help him be a little bit more tanky because that defense stat screws me just a little bit. Next we have Goma, the Score Rupee with Lava Plume, Searing Shot, Extreme Speed, and Giga Drain. Still just a fire type, hasn't evolved yet. I don't even know if it will change when it uh, evolves, I guess we'll see at level 40. And uh, currently holding the XP share because she's lagging just a little bit behind everybody else. 
Next, we have Phasma the Gloom, who evolved at the end of last episode, of course, uh, with Disable, Cross Poison, which is uh, new to the grinding montage, thanks. And uh, Ominous Wind and Nightshade still has slow start, so we're looking for a Leaf Stone slash st Sunstone as quickly as possible to, to fix that, basically. And finally, my favorite favorite. I shouldn't say this, he's gonna die if I do. My favorite member of the team, Queso, the Dwebble, with Aerial Ace, D-Dance, learned during the grinding montage, so we now have a setup mon, Aura Sphere, and Dual Chop. Now we just have to do something about your special defense stat and you'll be fine. Um, although you do have the solid rocket buddy wish tonight, but anyway, uh, today we're on to bigger, better things, aka two new encounters potentially in today's episode as we head up to the desert, uh, more importantly the desert resort and Relic Castle, both of which I think count as separate areas. We'll, uh, we'll obviously find out once we get there. I believe they count as separate areas, and we should be able to get two new encounters because of it. I should have checked to see if we had Pokeballs. Uh, I should have checked to see if we have Pokeballs. There's a way to, like, sort these things to make it a little bit easier. I don't know how, though. We have nine Great Balls. I don't want to risk it. We also may need healing items, so I hope you guys like running simulators because I'm going to run all the way back down this thing right here head back into the Pokemon Center buy just a couple more great balls like six or so and uh, give me just like like I said six of these and then also give me some super potions for the journey as well give me like seven of those there we go we got a little bit of money left over as well okay anyway uh, I think I saw Colrus up here which kind of scares me hopefully he just wants to tell us about how great it is to be alive and not kill us please no battles no battles Colrus how's it going I've been sucked in Hello, Colrus. Mm. What accent did I give you? Like a German scientist or something, which I now will never be able to recreate. Mm. Oh, it's you again. Oh, wow, that's horrible. I don't know what happened. <laughs> some days the the accents, the 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 impressions, the voices are like on it, and then some days that comes out. Mm. If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Yes, sir. Mm. I appreciate your cooperation. I also don't know where the is coming from he's like that uh he's like that boat salesman in uh legends out of the wind break wind waker this it's too early for me to be recording right now oh mm, how interesting your charmeleon seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species and your trainer was merely three badges are you making fun of my badge count that is so rude Hmm, fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I'm a scientist. My name is Chorus. Mm. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Mm. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. You just said that. Say it again, please. Mm, is it possible to bring out the maximum power through the bonds they share with their trainers? Mm, or is this some other different method? Mm, I'd like to test my theory by battling you. I'd like to not battle at all if we could. Do you find this acceptable? Yeah, let's do it. Either way, I'll be over on Route 4, just, just beyond here. Mm. See ya, you Saturn looking head mother trucker. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight him, which I can't say I'm super thrilled about. <sighs> but we must. But we must. There's no getting away from it. Maybe he'll be nice and he'll change his mind up here. I don't know. I don't think he does. Pretty sure we just have to fight him nonetheless. Excuse me, ma'am. Did we already fight you? Did we skip you? I was like 90% sure we already fought you. Having lots of battles is the best way. I thought we fought you when we came up here and caught Dwebble. Do we do we skip this trainer? Maybe we might have skipped this trainer. Timber, no. I feel like we fought this thing. Don't you have like a? Yeah, we definitely fought you because you have the smear goal as well. And this is the battle. Yeah, your timber set up and I got scared. And then you have the smear goal, and I made fun of smear goal, and then we later caught a smear goal. This is, we've definitely fought you before. Okay, well, interesting. Doesn't matter. I mean, we'll just go ahead and take down your Pokemon really fast, including this Smeargle, because you're still just at level 16. It looks like you didn't really increase levels there, I must say. Really, your Smeargle's gonna crit me, though? I got, like, a really scary battle coming up, and I can't have any sort of damage happening here. Maybe it won't be scary. I didn't know how much to grind up, so I just grinded up to, like, level 22s, and, uh... 
because I figured that's what the gym leader was at, although the gym leader had a 24. So hopefully it's not too scary. Hopefully I grind it up enough because <coughs> I don't want to lose the entire lock. Hello, of course. Mm, I've been waiting for you. Oh, what's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. Mm, observe. With this device, I create to energize Pokemon. I'll... Just working on his brow game. Oh, it's future Queso. Man, I gotta say, Dwebble's a lot cuter than Crustle. Crustle's, Crustle's an okay Pokemon, though. Mmm, those Crustle, were they just lying here out of energy with their borders on their backs? The music just changed, so I think we're about to fight. Mmm, Team Plasma said we should recognize their potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. Mmm, I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Working on that brow game again. Mm, now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Mm, Gilmore, I'll remember that name. Well then, I will test to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Mm. Alright, let's uh, never do that again. I think I've hit my limit. <laughs> Alright, Chorus, what do you got? Something eat? Okay, well, Larvitar. Well. Maybe significantly less easy. Okay, I don't think we fought a Larvitar yet. Oh my gosh, I'm peeling so bad. You probably can't see it on the webcam, but I, I can feel it every time I touch my head. It's just like flaky snake skin. Okay, Larvitar. Uh, do we know what type this thing is? I don't think we do. And what I'm gonna do, even though Poison Jab is stronger, I think I'm gonna go for Assurance because one, Dark type is super effective against more types than poison. Poison is only effective against grass in this game, uh, whereas dark is super effective against ghost and psychic. So we have an extra chance to get a super effective hit. And poison jab it doesn't affect steel types. So if it's a steel type, there's a chance that we just don't do any damage. So to guarantee we get some damage off, I'm going to go for assurance. Okay, you're rock type. You're going for the rock slide. How much is this going to do? That's not terrible. That's actually not that bad. I'm okay with it. And that's a good hit right there. Okay. But that was just neutral. Okay, so if we go for another poison jab. Um, going for another rock slide. Just don't flinch me and or crit me. Both of those would be horrible options. You didn't do either and I appreciate it. Okay, poison jab coming in. That was not very effective. So something that, well, is does rock resist poison? Rock may resist poison. In which case, there's this typing right there. What next? Another Larvitar. Okay. Um... Well, if you have rock type moves, that pretty much eliminates Goma and Queso from the mix. I think we probably just gotta stick this one out with Kylo. Like, obviously, I'm gonna have to heal up real fast. 23. Obviously, gonna have to heal up with a super potion. And then he's gonna start hitting me with rock slides. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll miss one. That would be awesome. I'd be appreciative of that. And uh, we'll just go for assurances. There's another rock slide. Yeah, no dodging here. We don't dodge here. We do get critted here, though. It's good to know. Hold on. A crit did... 56 7 a crit did 57 so just keep that number in your mind because if he hits us with a rock slide and we are within crit range we may want to reconsider our strategy with life um 76 rock slide dude you just hit them all though okay so we are in crit range so again i don't feel like risking it maybe you guys do I don't feel like risking it, so we're gonna go till he misses a rock slide. I may go for it after this one. Going for a rock slide again. Come on, just miss one, though. <sighs> okay, 56. We said 57 would kill us, so maybe maybe a crit won't kill us here, if we're very lucky. Going for the rock slide. Okay, no crit, thankfully. Going for assurance, just crit. Let's get us a crit. Can we get a... No, we can't. Okay, well. Wishful thinking, I suppose. Go for one more super potion on Kylo. He's gonna go for another rock slide. He never misses them, so he'll probably hit us again. There's a rock slide. Is this the only move you have, Larvitar? Starting to look like this is the only move you have. One more time, just for safety's sake, going for one more super potion. Just 100%. I mean, we may still die from a crit at 56, uh, but I just want to be 100% sure. Maybe the 57 was a high roll and we'll get a low roll. We're at 56 again. All right, he landed yet another rock slide. He lands yet another rock slide and did not crit us. Okay. Ooh. Man, Larvitar, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm not inviting you to my next birthday party, just so you know. You bring too many rocks. 
Okay, Kylo goes to level 23, which is just fantastical. And Chorus was defeated. Mmm, splendid, you are quite the trainer. Mmm, I see, just like the gym leaders in each area are the elite four and champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. Mmm, that's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. Mm, just a protein. That's not really that great, I guess. Mmm, it's so frustrating. If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out some power, but there's no way a person like that could ever exist. Mm, well then, Gilmore, I hope to see you again sometime. Actually, a person like that does exist? His name is Ed, and he was in the first game. You may want to meet him. Okay. We should have this out, by the way. We should always have item finder. That's why we should always have the item finder out. Um, so, we got some stuff here. Uh, before we do any exploring or anything, I'm like, I got encounter fever. Um, and so, yes, we have several different areas here. But we have trainers on the routes. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Which way are you going? Okay, just pay attention. There's items down there. We're still on Route 4, by the way. There's items down there. There's, a uh, Question, do you look to the left? Do you ever look left? I don't think you look left. Nice, okay. Uh, so if we head up here... I think... Yes, Desert Resort. This is a new area. This is a new encounter. Uh, although, hold on. I think there is a healing house down here. We should definitely do the healing house first. Oh, please don't get in a battle because I changed... She looked right at me. But I was hidden in the shadows and therefore she didn't see me. Okay, little scary, <laughs> but we made it work. Uh, I'm gonna run past these boys. Maybe she just can't see us at this l distance, or maybe she just doesn't want to fight. Do you just not want to fight? Oh, you don't just want to fight. The Relic Castle is being buried in sand. Someday memories of it may be buried too. Wow, that's very deep. Um, so yeah, we'll go explore all the items and such in um, in a second, or maybe in just a later episode in general. Um, but today's goal is to get new encounters uh i think we will use phasma because phasma has nightshade and that's guaranteed damage easy and we can always switch into kylo um to go for that uh the dark void to put them to sleep so uh, or should we put them to sleep first and then switch back it doesn't really matter so the um the desert resort is split into two areas kind of like the um oh we got boys here the Desert Resort is split into two areas, very similar to how uh, Verbank Complex was. So, like, this is Desert Resort, but then there's another area up through this door right here that's also Desert Resort. So, it doesn't really matter where we get our encounter. It's completely randomized between the two of them. Uh, we won't know until after the fact what Pokemon were in each of the areas. So, I'm just going to walk through this. We did not get our encounter here. Do we want to get our encounter here or do we want to get our encounter in here? I'll tell you what. I'm remembering back to my Volt White playthrough, and in the Volt White playthrough, we got our encounter down here, and it was a, a pan pour, I think? Meanwhile, in the Desert Resort up here, we ended up finding a shiny Darumanka. So, you know what? Gotta feel like this upper area brings us a little bit better luck. So, let's go for it. And see if we can get something good. We're looking for something solid to add to the team. We're looking for a, a new type, essentially, is what is the most important thing for us. I think this is the exact patch where I found Shiny Darumaka. So, can we replicate the results? Let's find out. A Nummel. We saw Nummels on Route 1. I have no idea what type they are, though. But I like Nummel as a Pokemon, so I'm okay with this. Okay. Um, let's do... Okay, of course, slow start. I know you knew Peck, so it's possible you're a flying type, which is kind of a shame because we have Dwebble. But maybe you're not a flying type. Let's go for Nightshade. Morning Sun. Okay. It's a little obnoxious. You're going to be healing up the whole time I'm trying to, to take you down here. Oh, you're going to be hit by Sandstorm. That is a good thing to know. Uh, we should just go straight into Kylo and put you to sleep because I don't want you morning sunning and if the the sun, sandstorm wants to slowly take down your HP I'm fine with that weather ball okay so potentially just a normal type it's looking like we'll find out of course um, after we catch this thing let's go for it right now okay uh, actually no let's put you to sleep first uh, let's go for the dark void morning sun there it is okay Oh, dude, while we're trying to catch that, literally, I just keep touching my face, and, like, the, the snake skin just keeps coming off, and it's so obnoxious. My question of the day for you guys is, um, 
Do you guys have any bad habits that you wish you could break? Uh, one of my bad habits for sure is every summer not using sunblock. I've had, I think I talked about it maybe a little bit last episode, but also the losing half the team probably maybe put a damper on the story. Um, we'll just go for a great ball. I have like a horrible history of getting sunburned last or two summers ago. Maybe it was last summer. I can't remember. It's all a blur now. I got sunburned so bad. I thought I did permanent damage to my back. Like my skin actually became leather for a little bit. And uh, I didn't know if it was ever going to recover. Nummel's data was added to the Pokedex. Ooh, electric type Nummel. Okay, I'm into this. The Num Pokemon. The Magma in its body reaches 2200 degrees. Its hump gets smaller when it uses fire type moves. <laughs> You're not the only one, my friend. Okay. Uh, the Num Pokemon. The electric type Numbness. Electric type numbness. What's that thing they do in psychology when they zap your brain? I can't think of the thing that it is. So instead, I'm just going to call you Hertz. Uh, because when you're numb, you won't feel the Hertz. But it's also a measure of electricity. And I think this is how you spell it. Not 100% sure. Uh, fingers crossed that that's how you spell it. We have no idea. You're going to get added straight to the team. So we can look at you right now, Numble. Okay, you didn't use an electric type move on us, so that makes me think you may not have one. Bashful Nummel with the battle armor cannot be critted. That sounds amazing. I love it. With Weather Ball, Morning Sun, Yawn, and Thunderfang. And uh, I'll tell you what, you got some decently rounded stats there, my level 18 Nummel friend. Good speed, good attack stat with Thunderfang. Welcome to the team. I am pretty happy about that. Okay. Hurts, let's go ahead and uh, hook up with this EXP share because you are a little behind, so you need to get caught up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, like, I got sunburned so bad, like, after, like, two weeks, my skin just solidified. And, like, if you've ever touched leather, that is the exact con exact consistency that my skin was. And I was like, oh, this is, um, I've done a bad thing. Like, my, my skin is, is just going to be permanently damaged forever. And it's going to, no, it eventually healed, thankfully, which is good. Um... But it uh, was a little scary at the time. Definitely thought I'd uh, I'd goofed. <laughs> okay. Ekans. So we're going to try to make it up to level 20 Ekans. Oh, we know you're a... F Do we know what type you are? Flying type? I thought we knew what type you were. Let's see. Going for the assurance. I think we know that you're flying. Although I said that about Hyper Fang. All right. All right, then. Okay, it's not Super Fang, so it's not as scary. Thought we knew that you were one type, but apparently you're not that type. It seems you're, in fact, another type. Now, there's a lot of items in here. Like I said, we're going to want to explore a lot of these. But I also really... Moon Moon Milk. Oh my god, so many items. I also would really just like to get up to the Relic Castle area. It's also probably worth... Um, there's the Relic Castle. Yeah. No, you weren't supposed to turn, you dang psychic. I guess that's why they call them psychics. I will use my supernatural powers to help my Pokemon. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Didn't really want to get in this battle. I'm not fully healed right now, and uh, I'm not really ready to, to play with anybody. A Gibble, huh? Gibble, huh? Oh, Gibble. Oh, Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. I don't know what type you are. I think we just have to heal up Charmeleon. Charmeleon is my new tank, mostly because he's holding a Violite, but uh, also I just love looking at him. Let's see what type Gibble is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Quiver Dance and Gibble? I mean, it's awesome, but I hate it. You're going to have to go to sleep. I'm going to need Mirror Shot. Oh, Dodge, I'm going to need you to go to sleep. Oh, go to sleep, my friend. Night, night, Gibble. <sighs> have a nice nap. Okay, and then we can take you out. Uh, so, potentially a Steel type, which is not good for us. It means Assurance isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. Let's see how much it does. Can we do at least half? Oh my gosh, it's not even close. Okay, you're definitely Steel type. Going into Goma. Oh, this thing's still at plus one, plus one. So, hopefully, it stays asleep for just one more turn for me. Can you just extend your. No, extend your nap a little bit longer, my friend. Uh, uh, it's plus one. Okay, we're fine. It's not very effective. Okay, Goma's... I almost clicked something. Okay, Goma's pretty fast. Go for the Searing Shot. It's... You're going for the Quiver Dance again, you greedy bean man. 
Okay, that was silly on his part. We're going to go for the Quiver Dance here. Or we're going to go for the Searing Shot and hopefully take him out. If not, we'll have to go for an E-Speed. But this should get the job done. I, I feel like this will get the job done. Got the job done. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Steel-type Gibble. If uh, one of those wants to you know, make its way into my party, I've been to that. Bronzor. Wait. Bronzor is a bug type? Pretty sure it's a bug type. We're gonna go into Queso. But maybe it's not a bug type. Maybe it's a steel type. I mean, it used to be a steel type. I don't actually know. Go for the Aerial Ace. This thing's plucking. It's flying type. Okay, well, I have made a huge miscalculation, but that didn't do a lot, so we're fine. This miscalculation will not uh, cost me anything, hopefully. Alright, it was too. Okay, maybe bug flying? I'm trying to remember. I thought we had established that you were. I can't remember. This was so long ago. Oh, this game like really needs to be like you need to like play through it real fast when you play this kind of game mode because you will forget these Pokemon types so quickly. Okay, so hold on. I see an item, so I want to grab that first because I'm greedy. Shock Drive. So we're about to enter this next area. Does anybody need heals? Anybody need heals? Anybody need heals? Everybody good? Ooh, everybody's looking okay. Uh, let's go into Phasma again. The Nightshade Strats. And let's see what our encounter is going to be inside of Relic Castle. This is a new area as well. We have the castle out the the uh, the uh, what do you call it? Whatever it is outside, and the castle inside. So these are two separate areas. So we are going to get another encounter in here. Let's try to get. Um, I mean, I don't know what we want. I'm trying to think. Well, honestly, that uh, that Gibble, the Steel type Gibble, a Steel type would be a great addition to the team. Okay, it's out of my hands now. What are we going to get? It's going to be. Bell Sprout. Okay, another Pokemon that needs a Leaf Stone. So, a little scary there. We don't know what type Bell Sprout is though. Slow start. Can't get it going. Go for the Nightshade. Let's weaken him just a little bit. And just a little bit. This guy's already level 21, which is actually really helpful. Going for Charm. All right. Well, hopefully you know some moves a little bit better than that. <laughs> We'll try to figure out what type you are as you uh, as you attack us. So far, nothing yet. Heart stamp, psychic type. We do not have a psychic type. Does a crit? Oh, I can go. Never mind. I can go into Kylo because even though he's uh, super effective poison, uh, dark resists or just doesn't get hit by psychic. So Kylo is going to be perfect for this. Okay, if this is a psychic type Bell Sprout, <laughs> look at them lips. Look at them lips. Let's do this. Vital Throat Psychic Fighting Type? Oh! That was too much damage. Uh, hold on. Super Potion. Super Potion Kylo. Let's be careful. Go back to Heart Stamping. Do a Heart Stamp instead, Bellsprout. We don't like the Vital Throw. No, 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 no. We don't like that either. Maybe it won't do as much. Maybe it won't do as much. My defense stat's real bad, though. Um, I think I have to go into Queso. I think I gotta go into Queso. That's the only thing I can think of. This thing's mostly hitting on the physical side, it looks like, and our defense is really good on Queso. Our defense on Charmeleon is just not very good. Another vital throw. Shouldn't do too terribly much. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. So we're not going to be able to put it to sleep, but we can throw a ball at it. We can at least throw just a good old great ball at it. And maybe have a good time. Maybe, maybe if we get lucky, catch this thing in all of his lips glory. Uno. Dos. Tres. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see if this thing actually is Psychic Fighting type, or if it just happened to no Heart Stamp. Data out of the Pokedex, just a Fighting type. All right. It prefers hot and humid environments. It is quick at capturing prey with its vines. Bellsprout as a Fighting type. A Fighting type plant. Give a nickname to the caught Bellsprout. Man, I have like almost nothing. This is like... A combination I would have like sometimes the combinations work out kind of nice and then the nicknames can work out kind of nice this is like so far out of left field that I just can't uh, even think of anything I'm trying to think of like a super scrawny fighter from like any fighting games uh, from like my childhood I mean I used to play this fighting game called balls 3d 
and everybody in that game was pretty skinny. Fighting game characters. I'm gonna look at some pictures. I wish I played more fighting games as a kid. I had like a I had like a Power Rangers fighting game. Yeah, I was gonna say everybody in these games is like ripped, like just shredded. Hashtag Kylo Ren level shredded. There's a skinny boy. Oh, now that is a large-breasted woman. Okay, well, don't actually know. These are all just very scantily clad women. This guy's kind of this guy's kind of scrawny. I mean, he's still when I say scrawny, more shredded than I will ever be in, in my entire life. But his name, wait, where'd it go? His name is Dalsim from Street Fighter 2, and it is a male, so it works. Look at this guy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my phone. Oh, way too bright. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this brightness down. Let me get this brightness down for you guys. That guy's kind of scrawny. Again, he's uh, more shredded than I will ever be in my entire life, but uh, <laughs> uh, it makes me feel better about myself. He's got, I can see his ribs, so you know what? We're going with Dalsim. I really should play more uh, fighting games. I should have played more as a kid. I don't know why I did I think my parents probably weren't uh, super into that, but Donaldson the Bell Sprout, welcome. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way. Welcome to the team. Uh, I'd like to go pick up Dalsim before we do too much more exploring. Oh, and the episode's actually almost over. So I'll tell you what. Can I get out of here? Can I get out of here? I am curious of what else we could have caught on all of these routes, of course. Um, and we'll definitely go back and investigate at some point. But we picked up two new types today, a fighting type and an electric type. Um, and I'm honestly just excited about both of those facts, trying to sneak past everybody. There is a nurse there that we can, um, we can fight and she can heal us 24-7. But, uh, again, a little bit mean to Smeargle here, but I'm trying to get Smeargle off the team. Okay, nope, don't fight me. I'm trying to get Smeargle off the team so that we can, uh, uh, what... Lady, how many times? This is like SpongeBob. How many times is I gonna teach you this lesson, old man? Um, this lady is addicted to fighting. You need some help. Uh oh, this isn't great. I really dislike the fact that you're fighting me again, ma'am. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Another workup. All right, you gotta stop this. Gust. Okay, that's not gonna be very much. That's fine. Okay, you must have... Timber's a flying type, and so is Smeargle, so... <gasps> no, dumb, dumb, dumb decision to stay in on Smeargle. Stupid, bad boy decision to stay in on Smeargle. Don't ever do that again, me. Okay, Ice Shard coming in. Three damage, okay. I don't know why I was, why I was scared. Um, but yeah, we got two new types. The squad is uh, rounded out again, and I honestly just wanted to... Like I, well, we don't have an Ice type anymore, so we kind of need the Ice type from O'Keefe, but... Do we really need the ice type from O'Keefe when we could have a lovely Pokemon like Bellsprout on the team? I think the answer to that question is no. So, we got our two new encounters. We survived. We didn't lose anybody today, which is good. And you always want to reba rebound from a, a horrible loss with a, you know, not so horrible loss the next episode. Which is what we did. And I'm very happy with it. Nope. Gotta, gotta move, Pokemon. Grab the Bellsprout. It's adamant. Dude, this Bellsprout's gonna kill it. Um, swap out for Smeargle. I'm very sorry, Smeargle, but you gotta go. And, uh, let's take a look at this bell spot really quickly before we end the epi. And, uh, next time we will clear all of the route above. We will fight all the traders in there and in the desert resort. Uh, and hopefully be able to do all those things quick enough to also make it to the next town whose name I don't remember. I think it's Nimbasa City. All right, Dalsim, how you doing? How you doing? Fighting type Dalsim with an adamant nature. Multi-type, changes type to match held plate. This thing can be whatever type we want it to. Um, and then, of course, you you do have a psychic type move, which is just good coverage. And then two fighting type moves. That's a good bell sprout right there. I'm pretty, I've never been excited to have a bell sprout on the team before, but now I am. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this episode uh, where we didn't lose anybody, can I mention that one more time? Uh, then make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.